what, a, what about this for a shot he's taking on? Potting balls down the cushions are some of the hardest shots you can play in snooker, so here's all the different ways you can play these shots. This is Break From Life. Welcome back and if it's your first time watching one of our videos and it's fantastic to have you here. It may be surprising to anyone who's never played snooker before, may not be aware there's a difference between this type of shot where you have a big wide open pocket, where potting the ball is relatively comfortable, and this type of a shot where the pocket's at its narrowest. Not only is it more likely for the jaws of the pockets to throw balls back into the table from these angles, but the size of the pocket gets gradually smaller and smaller the closer you get to the cushion which hugely increases the difficulty of the shot, so much so that a lot of coaches will tell players to try and avoid these shots and play every other available ball first before taking on a difficult shot that if missed is highly likely to lose you the entire frame. And a lot of the time this is really sound advice, especially as there's some tables out there that are a lot tighter, especially down the cushions than others. I mean, why would you risk losing an entire frame to play one tricky shot that you really don't need to play, especially when there are other options on? And at the same time, we're not going to risk missing Victor from Constanta in the east of Romania. But you're not going to be able to hide from these shots forever, and if you're regularly missing them, then that's going to cause a problem. To start off with, we have to recognise that there's a massive difference between a lot of cushion shots. Playing shots tight on the cushion is slightly different to playing shots that are off the cushion, as well as which cushions you're playing shots along. Some of these will be slightly harder or slightly easier, depending on whether you're right-handed or left-handed and the side of the table the ball is on. And because of the nap of the cloth and other factors, you'll find balls will just hug the top cushion quite nicely, whereas if you play them along the bolt cushion, they'll tend to roll away very slightly. These also tend to be the least level parts of any table, so it's really not unusual for the balls to deviate offline, making these shots even harder to play. And now we have Simon and Roscrea, which is right in the middle of the Republic of Ireland. So what's the best way of playing these shots? Well, let's start off with balls that are tight on the cushion. The first shot, I think, is the most basic way of rolling a ball along a cushion, and it works especially well for any shot you have on the top cushion that you're playing slowly. What you want to do is get the cue ball here, so it strikes the cushion and the red at exactly the same time. And we can just play this slowly, and we should definitely pot it. But of course, there are other ways of playing this shot. However, a way of playing this shot that slightly less people have heard of and is far less obvious is actually to play these shots tight on the cushion, cushion first. Now, when you play a ball into any cushion, it slightly squidges the cushion and it squeezes it in a, just a little bit. So if you were to play a shot like this, you can very, very slightly hit the cushion first and still pop the ball. Now, how well this works will depend on just how soft the cushion is on the table you're playing and that can vary an awful lot but if you do have a table that does have slightly softer cushions it can make shots like these a lot easier to pot when there's a lot of distance between the cue ball and the object ball and it's far more straightforward than if it was slightly off the cushion. Now let's complicate that a little bit. So on these shots you can ever so slightly pop them cushion first once you know how to do that, on this shot we can then magnify that effect by using side spin. Now, what we're going to use is helping side. Now, the way to find out which side you need is if the cushion's on the right, you need left-hand side. Or if the cushion's on the left, you need right-hand side. It's basically the opposite side of the cushion. So we're going to be playing with left-hand side. Now, what this means is I can hit the, more of the cushion and still pop the ball. It gives me a slightly greater range of space to get the cue ball in that will still pop the ball. It's just going to give us slightly more space to be able to play the shot. Not only can it help you pop the ball, but it also can help you get in position. To start off with, you're using running sides. So this is going to make the cue ball accelerate when it strikes the cushions. And that means you can also play the shot slower. And here, for example, if I play this in any other way, I'm not going to be able to get on a colour because I'd hit these two reds. But the right-hand side is going to allow me to come off two cushions and be nicely on the black, hopefully. 
and I didn't really even have to play that that hard. To show how well this effect actually works, I'm going to use maximum left hand side here to pot a black that doesn't actually go. If you watch very closely, how I've actually done this is struck the cushion first and let all the sides spin the cue ball back towards the black, just using the side spin and a little bit of distortion of the cushion. But what if the ball isn't tight on the cushion? But of course not all shots are tight on the cushion and the most important thing when you're playing any of these shots is to leave yourself the right angle. Now I am aware you don't always have that option, but if you do it's vital to be leaving yourself at least a three quarter ball angle or possibly slightly more just to mean that you don't have to play that shot too hard or you're not playing a shot that's too thin. If you want to know more about angles I've got a video in the card right here and that will show you all the different angles and how it all works with snooker. So what I'm going to look to do then is get the ball or get the cue ball exactly there so I've got the most straightforward shot possible when I'm potting the red in order to get back on the black. Now I'm in good position here, but this shot is far from straightforward and possibly far harder than the balls I had previously where they were tight on the cushion. Because here, when I play this shot, I can't afford to hit any of this top cushion. If I hit this top cushion, it's very, very unlikely that the ball will go in the pocket at all, even if I play it very, very slowly. Now that does mean I've got to pot everything off the far jaw because I can't actually see really the drop of the pocket. So what you've got to do is make sure you're lining up these shots to the far jaw and not squeezing them too much into the cushion. And also, getting the pace right. If you can play them slowly, do. As I previously said, the most vital part of these shots is to get the cue ball in good position so you can always get the white easily away from the cushion. And here I've done exactly that. I've left myself a nice, roughly three-quarter ball angle so I can get the cue ball away from the cushion. However, it's a lot more risky playing this side because if I don't quite play it hard enough and under hit it, I can easily leave it straight, or if I just over hit it, I can easily leave it straight. It's a lot more straightforward to leave yourself playing the shot off the cushion. However, I do sometimes think this shot is a little easier to play if you can get the cue ball here. However, it is very difficult to get it exactly where you want it sometimes. But what happens if you do finish straight? Really, because this shot's straight, it's a little bit easier to pop, but the problem is, because I need to get the cue ball away from the cushion, I'm going to have to play it slightly harder, because I'm going to have to screw back here to get on the bolt colour. So that does mean I'm going to have to play the shot a lot harder, and the more pace I play the shot with, the more likely it is I'll miss it. The problem is when you leave yourself with no angle you have two options, go forwards or go backwards. And when you're trying to play these shots with either reverse side or trying to rattle them in the jaws of the pockets, things can go wrong. I highly recommend doing as much as you can with these shots that doesn't risk missing the pot. Because these are the shots on the table that you're least likely to get away with when you miss them. And the final and most risky way to play these shots, especially if you're left a bit straight or a snook at his cushion first. If the object ball is close to the pocket, I highly recommend considering this shot. If you are going to give these shots a go, I'd advise playing them with a small amount of running side, which is the opposite side of the cushion the same as earlier. This will just help you play the shot a little bit thinner than normal. And we're also being joined by Try to Adult, who's in Muter in northern Zimbabwe. These shots start to become very gettable when you're confident and used to playing them. So I'd suggest practicing them around the black spot like this. If you start with the red halfway between the black spot and the top cushion and slowly move it closer the better you get at this routine. Over time you'll find you even become confident playing these shots when the red is tight to the cushion and learn how to get the correct angles between red and black and black and red. And it's also worth trying the same routine with two reds just to give yourself more experience from playing shots from different locations and getting the angles right. 
And if you want to find out more about podding angles in snooker, then try our video, Snooker Angles. And if you want to know how Ronnie O'Sullivan has had such an effect over the game, then try our video, How Ronnie O'Sullivan Changed Snooker Forever. And remember, don't just watch, play. And make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel and visit the website. See you later.